everyone. Today's recipe, we're making honey chicken thighs over cauliflower rice. Now you could serve this over white rice if you like, but I'm trying to keep the carbs lower. So I'm using a cauliflower rice. And this recipe comes together so quickly, you can have it on the table in just a few minutes. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. Okay, so here's chef joke number one. Here we go. Second one will be a little bit later. How did the chickens bake a cake? They start from scratch. All right, we're gonna start off by going over our ingredients today so you know what's in our recipe before we start. So first up, we have some chicken. I'm using some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast or bone-in chicken thighs if you want and skin on, that's up to you. I have some flour here. It's Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one gluten-free flour. You can use regular flour if you like. We'll need some garlic powder, some salt. We'll need some ground coriander, minced garlic, some butter, I have some coconut aminos, which is a soy substitute. If you want to use uh, soy sauce, you can. That's our honey there. That's, uh, I'll need some apple cider vinegar. And this container here is supposed to be chicken broth, but I ran out. So I'm using what I have, which is what you should do as well. And then in this container here, I have some arrowroot, which uh, is a thickener for our sauce. You could also use cornstarch if you don't have it or you prefer to use the other. And I'm gonna make a slurry out of that with a little bit more chicken broth. We'll need some pepper, avocado oil, and some fresh parsley for garnish. So we're gonna start off here by dredging our chicken into our flour mixture. So what we're gonna do is take our flour mixture, and I have measured out here my garlic powder and the salt. We're gonna add it to the flour and the coriander. We'll stir that with our spoon to mix all the ingredients together, and then we'll start dredging our chicken into it to give it a nice coating. So now we're gonna head on over to the stove. All right, I'm gonna start off here with my big frying pan. This is where we're cooking the chicken. I'm gonna put my temperature on medium high heat. I have another pan over here, and that's gonna be cooking up my cauliflower rice, which I just went to the store and bought some frozen riced cauliflower. Makes life really simple, especially when you got a busy day and you don't have time to be you know, breaking it up yourself. I do have a video on that if you wanna know how to do it. Uh, I'll leave a link for it down in the description of this video and you can find out how to cut up uh, your own cauliflower and make your own cauliflower rice. All right, to our frying pan, I'm gonna add some avocado oil. You could use olive oil if you want. I'm just gonna kinda cover the bottom of the pan. Let that heat up. While we're waiting for that to heat up, anybody have any ideas or guesses as to what Rockin' Robin is drinking in her favorite mug here. This is the delicious and nutritious and will make you ambitious mug. And I'm drinking something, well, we'll say it's a little bit healthy. Let me know in the comments if you got any ideas what you think it is. Okay, so once the oil is hot, you're gonna add some butter to that oil. And I just like to swirl it around. Once that melts, then we'll be able to start our chicken. And like I said, we want this to be a good medium high. My stove is acting up here and not behaving. Okay, you see that bubble on the butter? Okay, that means it's time. So we'll just lay these in. And if you have more than can fit in your pan, then go ahead and do this in batches. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper to our chicken. And then I'm gonna cover this because I want it to cook up quickly. Now, we're gonna work on our cauliflower rice. It only takes about five minutes. Our chicken's gonna take a little longer than that. But I want it to be ready when we're ready to serve this up. So, the instructions just say, heat up the pan, medium heat, toss those in, saute them for five minutes, and they're done. Let's have a peek at our chicken after a couple of minutes. And you know, basically you're cooking this for about two to three minutes on each side to really crisp it up and then we'll lower the heat and kind of get it to finish cooking on the inside. We want that temperature to be about 165. We'll be checking it with our instant read thermometer. All right, it's been about five minutes here on the cauliflower rice. It's, I can feel it with my spatula, it's nice and soft. And I'd say it's done, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and just put a cover on it, a lid, to keep it warm. And I'll just put it right back there and it'll be good to go. 
Now that the chicken is done, I placed it in a plate behind the pan, and now I'm going to add some butter to the pan. Give that butter a little swirl, and then we're ready to add some garlic. We're only going to cook this in the pan for one minute to mellow out the flavor. Now we're going to add our coconut aminos, and then our honey. Now work that all in until the honey is incorporated. Next goes our apple cider vinegar and our chicken broth, but in our case it's beef broth. And I'm going to bring that up to a little simmer. In the meantime, we're going to make our slurry, which is going to thicken this up a little bit. So to make our slurry, all we have to do is take some of our broth, pour it into the arrowroot, and give it a stir. Usually it's an equal amount, so if you used a tablespoon, you'd use a tablespoon of each. Mix it all up. It will settle though, like if I don't add this right away, I wait a few minutes, and then I add it, I'll have to stir it again because the arrowroot will kind of settle to the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, our sauce is simmering, and now it's time to add our slurry. So I'm gonna pour this in, kind of slow, <laughs> and then mix it around. With arrowroot, you have to add this at the end and not boil it too much because then it loses its thickening properties. That's not the same with uh, cornstarch. You can add it earlier and it will not lose its thickening properties. You can see the sauce is thickening up and now it's time to add back the chicken. Nestle the chicken into the sauce and then turn it over to coat it and we're ready to serve it up. All right, for those of you that were gonna guess what's in my cup today, mm -mm -mm. all right, I'll tell you, but did you leave a guess down in the comments? I'd like to hear from you. The answer is matcha green tea. Who got it right? Let me know. Normally I get my second uh, chef joke in before, you know, the end of the video, but today I was so busy cooking that I didn't. So for those of you that have stuck around, here we go, here's chef joke number two. Why does a chicken need to lay an egg every day? for endurance. All right, so I chopped up a little bit of parsley. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the pan, save a little for my plate too. And that just finishes this dish off. It's so quick to put together, you gotta love that. All right, I'm gonna serve up my, my rice, my cauliflower rice, that is. And I can't wait to dig in. This is so yummy, the flavors. I'm gonna take us a nice little golden brown chicken thigh, which I love the chicken thighs. And then add a little bit of that juice or gravy or whatever you want to call it, sauce, right on top. And I'm going to dive in. Love those flavors. It's not too sweet which I like, it's kind of an in-between. You got a little bit of tartness, just a hint from the apple cider vinegar with the sweetness of the honey. It is a great combination, you're gonna love this. So good. So if you like chicken recipes, you might wanna try my slow cooker chicken tacos. I have some great Mexican recipes and that is a really good one. I'll leave a link for you right over here. Uh, check that out and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching today. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out. Leave me a comment and if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button for me. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time.